and in our collective history, in our collective journey, as we bid farewell to His Excellency, Archbishop Hendrik Yesislav Jagosinski, the esteemed Apostolic Nuncio to our country, Ghana. Throughout his tenure, he has exemplified unwavering dedication to found wisdom and a steadfast commitment to fostering unity and understanding within our church and beyond. His Excellency has been a beacon of grace and compassion, tirelessly working to strengthen the bond between the Holy See and our local church communities. His diplomatic finesse, coupled with his deep spiritual insight, has guided the church in Ghana through both challenging and triumphant times. And he has done this always with a vision of peace and fraternity. Under his leadership, we have witnessed remarkable strides in dialogue, cooperation, and mutual respect amongst the different religious and societal groups. His efforts have not only enriched our ecclesiastical landscape, but have also touched the lives of countless individuals, uplifting them in faith and hope. In his almost four years stay here, he has supervised and organized the process for the election of six bishops is not an easy task, but a task he has carried out with honor and dignity. Beyond his official duties, His Excellency has endeared himself to all who have had the privilege to know him with warm hospitality and genuine care for every person he meets have left an indelible mark on our hearts. In former and informal gatherings, he has radiated the love of Christ, embodying the spirit of servant leadership in its truest form. As we express our deepest gratitude for his service amongst us, we also extend our heartfelt prayers and best wishes as he embarks on a new chapter of his mission, a new pastoral ground. Though he may be living, he may no longer be living amongst us, his legacy will continue to inspire and guide us as we strive to build the world and a church rooted in justice, compassion, and solidarity. Your Excellency, on behalf of the Ghana Catholic Bishops Conference, on behalf of the many lay faithful whom you have loved so much. We thank you for your exemplary service and leadership, your unwavering hope, your humanness, your ability to approach and to correct in a fraternal, humble way. You have had a profound impact on the lives of individuals and on the church in Ghana. May God bless you abundantly with his choicest graces 
and all your future endeavors. May his seeds accompany you always. May he, the uncreated light, light your paths to the new pastoral ground, continue to guide you in your leadership of the church in South Africa and wherever you go. It is said amongst our people, no matter how gently you transplant a seedling, you cannot totally uproot it, for it will leave something of itself back in the soil, be it root hair or a fallen leaf. And also, no matter how carefully you plant it somewhere, the seedling will carry something of the soil from which it has been uprooted with it along to the new place. And that is our situation. We are planted in Ghana. I've stayed here for four years. We have had rich experiences. You are living, you are living with some of the experiences you have had here. You are not going empty handed. Like the seedling, you are carrying something from the soil of Ghana. As you go, you also leave something of yourself here, in the soil of Ghana. That is our experience, and we believe that will be your experience also. Just as a token of our appreciation and that you always remember that we were once in Ghana. We give you this physical present that you may hang somewhere or place somewhere so that occasionally, as you touch it, as you see it, you remember Ghana and your wonderful experience here. Your Excellency, thank you infinitely. And may God bless you.